okay assalamu alaikum and a very good day uh, for this video lecture we're gonna talk about pointer okay pointers is uh, one of the uh, one of the challenging chapter in C programming actually pointer itself um, uh, is, is a special things that can be happen in C programming so if you are going through any lecture regarding uh, Python or MATLAB uh, you will not find pointer because pointer does not exist in that kind of programming language so this is a specialty about C programming okay before before you okay in order to um, give you some very simple explanation about pointer I will use not only this slide I also use some uh, lectures not from other sources okay so you might go to I think there's a lot of website uh, discuss about C programming so um, I just find one thing one good examples there which is um, yep this one okay so you just google c programming okay you just uh, go here and then um, okay you just google c pointer and you choose this one www.tutorialspoint.com okay that is uh, quite um, good and it will benefit you in in term of in, in term of understanding the pointer because uh, the explanation is quite simple and easy to understand okay it's a complement to your the slide not given by uh, dr tant okay so of course um again like i said before we act we, we talk or discuss more about the pointers so uh, you need to understand the computer architecture especially what is computer memory is all about how uh, the how uh, we how is uh, the computer's memory is looks like in your in your computer okay okay um this is uh, computer memory okay uh, again uh, like i said okay okay before this we discuss about the computer memory uh, I would like to explain how the program have been processed or have been executed in, in your computer. Okay, if you this doesn't matter whether your your C program or other program or apps in your co in in your computers uh, when you execute the programs. So what will happen? Uh, of course, if you think about the C program that you have have right. Uh, what, for example you write some formula or mathematics uh, process like arithmetic uh, arithmetic as well as a logic operation so any operation or mathematic operation will be executed in your cpu okay that is for sure and then uh, again uh, if you if you realize that when you write a program before you do some process there you will do some declaration declaration about the or, or declaration uh, about the, in the the related variables that you want to use because that variable will be used to store or to 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 save some data that you want to process later when you execute all any formula that you want to design so that is that is the proper way to write a program so you declare your variable first whether you want to use uh, integer variables whether you want to use a char variable or you want to use array or maybe you want to use float variables so you need to declare first so that is that variables is actually for the purpose of storing your data before you process uh, once you you write some arithmetic operation or logic operation in, in your program so uh, of course the op the operation itself will be done in cpu means that all the operation arithmetic operation logic operation will be done in cpu but when you declare so why we need to declare some variables so uh, uh, at, at the first part 
before you you execute or you you design your own formula to execute something in your program this is because once you declare variables at first first place in your program that is the where when you execute that program when you CPU find that instruction when you are declaring some variables doesn't matter is it integer floating and so on it will actually when the CPU execute that instruction the, the, the instruction that related to declaration of that variables is actually will allocate the memory space in your computer or, or in other word it will allocate the memory to be store your variable in your computer memory or in other words it's a RAM RAM okay if you talk about your normal PC it's related to RAM okay, RAM is the one that uh, that store some temporary memory that have been used as a temporary memory for you for you in order for you to run some program so when you do some declaration like integer x equal to 10 that's mean the variable x itself will be uh, defined as the integer and when the cpu execute that instruction it will deserve some location in your computer memory to be store the value 10 inside that memory okay okay to make you uh, understand more about uh, the computer memory operations let's look at these figures okay this is the example of computer memories okay it's it's contain is it's uh, consists of uh, many cell where that cell is actually will store the data or this is the, the the memory location that you need to reserve once you run some code okay and then uh, of course if you talk about the the real physical appearance of your computer memory is not look like this okay this one is just some image imagination so some picture that we can imagine imagine about the computer memory so uh, for the purpose of you know to and to for as a human to understand uh, the concept of computer memory okay the computer memory you have some location where that location you need to it, it's depend on what you want you want to store what type of data is there that is the location that you you will store any data uh, okay and then uh, in order for you to access that data you need the, the, the address so the numbers that I write at the house side here is the address so this is an example of the address okay it's go up into any address there so to access any value here okay you need to know the address once you know the address then you you can access that uh, data that can be stored in that memory location okay so again um, like I said let's okay for example okay just give some example when you write the program Okay. okay when you write your program okay I just uh, uh, give you some examples there when you write some program okay when you, you write some programs there let's say of course at the first part you want to declare some variables for example I want to declare integers x okay I declare integer x okay why we need to declare the variable first again why we need to declare the variable first before we proceed uh, some formula that you you want to do in your program that's because you want to store any data there okay that variable will be stored will assign with some data and that data will be used to process any equation that you design in your program later so once okay again when you run this program once you the cpu at this point okay when the cpu at this point when you find that you declaring some variable integer variable called x actually automatically your computer will the, your cpu will automatically try to reserve one memory location 
inside your memory okay in 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 in, in normal computer this one should be your ram okay i just put your computer memory because in others platform like arduino and so on they don't call it ram okay they call it other things so so just put it as a computer memory so it will reserve some memory location to put x there so for example i it will okay when the computer find out okay let's say okay this memory have not been used before in in your computer then it will reserve this part as to declare your x okay which is for cell okay for cell will be reserved for your x the question is why is for cell okay want cell here okay one cell here can be store data okay in form of 8 bits or one byte okay or one byte so in other word any data that you want to store in memory location one cell can be store the information uh, up to one byte okay each the, the size or in other words in the size of your memory location is one byte but integers when you that, that's why when you write the program we want you want when you want to declare some variables you need to also uh, declare the type the data type which is uh, in this case is integer data type so once the your, the cpu identify that you want to declare one variable called x and x is actually the data type of x is integer it will reserve four byte for you because integer required four byte in memory location okay so that's how uh, the, the 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 computers execute your program how that's how the the the, the process in terms of the computer architectures or in terms as uh, especially in in, in, if we talk about the computer memory when you declare something uh, if it, I mean when you declare some variables then the CPU automatically when they execute the declaration it will reserve some memory inside your computer memory to be allocated allocate for, uh, for, for for that variables to be stored some data of course later for example if you you know if you put uh, some assign some data it will put here so again uh, how do we know that which address have been assigned as x that actually is uh, it will assign automatically means that once you run this program the cpu will decide it's not us as human to decide because later when you, you find out that when you run the same program again you will find out the memory address is different because it depend on how much the memory the, the 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 free memory that have been uh, exists in your computer okay for example like the one that i use right now might be you know i opened my what my powerpoint here so my this one might be you know this memory have been used by powerpoint for example and this memory have been used by the facebook for example so it depends on how many program application that you open in your computer okay any any uh, location here which have been used by some other application uh, will not be be you know will not be, be allocated for you because it's already allocated for that application like this one is for powerpoint this one is for facebook so once you run some program it will find which memory location is free so and it will reserve that memory for you once you declare integer x there so that's why when you run this program again you will find out the integer when you the, the address of your integer x is not similar as before because it depends on which memory location is free okay so back to this slide okay is you can see that again uh, one cells there it's 8 bits the, the, cell, the size is 8 bit or 1 byte and then uh, okay this is the the the, the explanation about uh, the size of the 
the data type when you declare the short integer it's required two bytes if you declare integers then you it's required four bytes so if you declare long it's required four or eight bytes it depend on the system and then if you you declare a float data type it will be reserved for byte so that's why in this examples okay i give you you know uh, if you declare integers uh, if you are declaring the x which as a uh, integer variables then you need four byte okay so that's how it's work okay and then um the concept of uh, putting data in memory location it's divided into two type one is a big endian another one is a little endian is okay that one is depends on system okay i just put some links there okay that discuss about what is the little endian uh, little endian and big endian is all about it's just this just some arrangements there okay this is the big endian this is little endian okay and then, then it depend on the system that one uh, i think you you don't have to, to worry about that if you want to go for have some you know uh, extra knowledge then you can explore what is uh, different between big endian and little endian actually if you talk about the intel okay in this website if they discussing about uh, you know if you are using the intels if your if your if your system is intel okay intel processor then uh, it use it use the little endian format okay arm processor also use a little endian process this one is related to if you are talking about uh, your handphone okay normally the handphone use the arm processor it will use uh, little endians and then Motorola as well okay Motorola use a big endian so it depends on the processor okay if you talk about write a normal C using your PC of course your PC is Intel then it's it's using the little endian so okay so what is different between little endian endian and big endian okay let's go to um, I just get explained a little bit might be someone some of you might might want to interested about interested in knowing more about the little endian so, um, okay now uh, first of all let's uh, assume this system is little endian so let's say okay for examples uh, you after you declare uh, variable x then you assign your x with sorry you assign your x with some number x equal to 8 for example so what happened is when the cpu execute this instruction okay so if this system is little endian okay it will store again this is uh, the memory location that you reserve uh, for variable x so if you assign your x with 8 it will store in this way i'm sorry okay this is the memory location that you uh, allocate to assign as your x and your your x is assigned as the data number eight here so what happened when the cpu execute this instruction it will actually will uh, write your data in this way this one is zero eight this one is zero 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 so why 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 is this uh, why is this happened is because of integer is 8 byte okay so in other word if you write uh, the 8 byte format 8 okay the number 8 here in a 8 byte format then it should uh, you know look like this okay it should be 0 8 0 0 zero 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 so uh, because a uh, one number here is represented by four bits okay four bits so two numbers here is eight bit okay you need to have some knowledge uh, try to refresh your knowledge in digital system okay uh, this one is eight bit this two number is eight bit this two number is 
8 bit this two number is 8 bit so the total is 4 byte so little indian it will store the first memory location of your x here which is this memory location with the little number okay which is uh, 0 8 there but the the biggest number will be stored at the last part that is little indian but if this system is big indian then it's another way around meaning that sorry okay meaning that if this system is a big indian then it will store in this way this one should be zero zero sorry this one should be zero 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 and zero eight so this is big indian because the biggest number will go to the first address while the last number or the less the, the smallest number will go to the last address so that is the difference between a little indian system and big indian system so you, you don't have to worry about that because it depends on the cpu itself if you talk about your normal pc which is in, in intel then it's a little indian meaning that it store the biggest or the smallest number at the first address so that's the different that is the thing uh, that you need to know about the difference between little indian and big indian so there's no issue about that so again to call this variable it, it, it must call the first address the first address that appoint that variables is actually your x doesn't matter is a little indian or big indian so uh, so what another things that you need to understand okay another things that might be you will question later why i use this thing 00x okay 00x is just the the, the address itself is this one okay the address itself is this one okay but this one just to represent actually uh, this number is a hexadecimal that's why i put it 0x later when you learn some microprocessor system it's you will will discuss this more okay 0x is just to 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 notify the 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 reader that this number is not uh, decimal it's a hexadecimal okay it's a hexadecimal so meaning that this numbers each and every numbers here can go up into f so it can be the last address should be 0 x f f f f f f f f so you can see the the, the numbers there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so 8 number uh, one number is is um, 4 bit so the total is 32 bits okay so this is the example of 32 bit system okay 32 bits if we talk about the 32 bits is actually like the the your, your pc your pc normally the the intel's uh, processor is a 32 bits when this they said in the intel 32 bit processor it's actually it's referred to the address size there the address size can be up into 32 bits but uh, now today uh, it's not 32, 32 bits anymore because the the, the, the current uh, computer have a uh, double okay 64 bits okay so of course a 32 bit application still there that's why if you install something the old the old software it will run on 32 bit system but still compatible with your processor because later it will recognize whether the system is 32 bit or 64 bit okay when they talk about 32 bit of 64 bit again it's actually refer to the size of the, the the memory address there so that's why i have eight number because one number is four bit then eight number should be 32 bits so that is how that is how we get the 32 bit system 64 bit system and so on okay so don't you don't have to worry about that just remember that uh, the, this is the address okay this is the address and then uh, the address actually the purpose of address we want to uh, identify the location of the data that the, the memory location okay uh, that is, is like your your home okay to, to to identify the location of your home you need the address again if you want to 
to identify the data that you store in your memory and you want to remember where is the memory which which cell have been stored with that data of course you need some address so this is the purpose of address you want to access any data inside your memory you need to use the address okay that's the concept of uh, computer architecture that you, hopefully you understand about it okay big letter we will you use this concept in uh, understanding more about pointer in C programming language